Hello, I'm Beth Wagner. Welcome to Movement and Function. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to correct a lateral shift in the lumbar spine. This is very helpful if you've experienced a new temporary curve in your lumbar spine in your low back following an injury or some type of overuse condition. Now a lateral shift typically occurs after an injury in the spine because of the pressure that is put on the area of the spine where the injury took place. It can also happen because of compensation or muscle guarding where some muscles become tight and pull excessively in the area as a result of the pain that comes from the injury. So there are several different mechanical causes for a lateral shift. And the purpose of this video is not to get into the nitty gritty of those mechanical causes, but to show you how to get rid of it. Now I'll show you what a lateral shift would look like from the front and from the back. So instead of standing with neutral alignment with my shoulders right over my hips, if I had a lateral shift to the left, my shoulders and trunk would be shifted over to the left like this. So you'll notice my shoulders are now to the left. They're not centered over my hips. So this is what it would look like from the front. Now I'll show you from the back. So instead of my shoulders being lined up over my hips, my shoulders will be shifted to the left. Now, the first step in correcting your lateral shift is to increase your awareness of what it feels like to be shifted. So the first step is to stand with good posture uh, with your feet about hip distance apart, your chest lifted slightly, shoulder blades relaxed, chin tucked just a little bit. Now, in this position with your arms just relaxed at your side, now close your eyes and notice if you can feel any indication of the shift. For some people, it's clear, it's obvious, and you're going to feel it right away. For others, it might not be so clear. One clue to notice this lateral shift, starting from the feet, is where do you feel most of the weight? If I'm shifted to the left, more than likely, I am bearing more weight underneath my left foot. And I can feel that. My left foot feels heavier on the ground than the right foot. Another clue is where your arms rest by your side. In a left lateral shift, Typically, the right arm is resting on the hip and the left arm is away from the body. There's space between my left hip and my left arm. You might also sense the shift by some type of asymmetry in your shoulders or in your neck. So when I'm shifted over to the left, I feel that my left shoulder is raised a bit and my right shoulder feels compressed down into my spine. I also feel a little bit of tilt in my head. I feel a little more pull on the left side of my neck and a little more compression on the right side of my neck. You might also notice a general sense of tightness, tension, or pain anywhere from your feet all the way up to your head that could be resulting from the shift and other areas of your body compensating for that shift. After about a minute of having your eyes closed, just take note of a couple of the most significant areas where you notice this lateral shift. This will come in handy later. Okay, the next step is to move in front of a mirror where you can see yourself from the hips all the way to the top of your head. Now wearing as little clothing as you feel comfortable with, you want to be able to see your navel and your sternum at minimum. And the more skin that you can see, the better. The more you'll notice these asymmetries. Now notice where your sternum is relative to your navel. Neutral alignment would have your sternum directly above your navel. If you're shifted to the left, you'll notice your sternum is off to the left of your navel. If you're shifted to the right, your sternum would be off to the right of your navel. Now you'll also likely notice differences in skin folds through your abdomen. You may also notice where your rib cage lines up relative to the tops of your hips. Looking at yourself in the mirror gives you an opportunity to notice all of the different ways that your body is compensating for that shift. You'll notice changes at the neck, in your shoulders, all the way down through your hips. Also make a note as to how far left or how far right you are shifted at this moment in time. That's also helpful to notice progress down the road. Imagine a string coming out from the top of your head and gently pull that string up to elongate your spine to get as much space between the vertebra as possible before we try to correct the shift. All right, so standing in your posture, whatever that might be, see if you can change your alignment. So if I'm shifted over to the left, I'm gonna see if I can just pull my trunk back up over my hips to find neutral alignment. 
See if you can make your sternum line up with your navel again. Now some people, probably very few people, are able to correct their lateral shift just by using the feedback from the mirror. If that's the case for you, fantastic. At this point in time, if you feel good about your alignment, now close your eyes and hold this position. Breathe normally, but hold the position and see if you can internally sense what it feels like to be in neutral posture. Notice any changes in your weight bearing, in the position of your left and right arm, and any tension, tightness, or pain you might have throughout your entire body. After about a minute, Open your eyes and take a final mental note of the differences in your alignment and where you felt that change in your body. Now, many people need a manual correction, and I'll show you that technique right now. All right, so if I'm shifted to the left, meaning my shoulders are leaning to the left, I'll place my left hand with a nice wide open palm on my lower ribs. My right hand is going to go on the top of my hip. Now, when I inhale, I'm going to get as tall as possible, breathing in, reaching my head up toward the ceiling. As I exhale, I'm going to push to the right on my ribs and to the left on my hip. Inhale again, get tall, exhale, press to the right on your ribs, to the left at your hip. One more time, inhale and press. See how far I can shift to the right. Good. Once you've shifted as far as you can, and that might take one breath, two breaths, three breaths, however many breaths it takes is fine. Once you've gone as far as you can to the right, hold that position for about five seconds. All right, so I've held that position for about five seconds as I'm talking, so now I'll release. Okay, see if you can stay neutral, midline. More than likely the first time or the first several times you do this, you'll shift right back into that lateral shift again. And that's fine, don't worry about it. It takes many repetitions of this before the correction will hold. Okay, so let me show that to you again. Shifted to the left, left hand goes on the left ribs, lower ribs, right hand on the hip. Inhale and exhale, press. Now this time I can go all the way over to the right. That feels great. Okay, now I'm gonna hold for five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Now, after I hold to a count of five, keep your hands in this position, stay corrected to the right as much as possible and take a few steps. This might feel very strange the first time you do it, but what we're trying to do is to lock in the correction. At this point, the overcorrection. So I'll just simply take a few steps here. And I'll turn around and show you what this looks like from the back. So I'm corrected to the right. So I'm just going to take a few steps. All right, see how much of that correction you're able to maintain. All right, after a few steps, maybe a minute or so, then go ahead and relax. Now check yourself in the mirror, see where your alignment is. Is your sternum lined up over your belly button? If it is fantastic, once again, close your eyes and let that feeling sink in of what neutral midline alignment feels like for you. Again, notice any changes in tension, tightness, or pain throughout your body. Notice where your arms rest. Notice how much weight is underneath your left and your right foot. Now, most people need to continue practicing this several times a day. I recommend starting out with every one to two hours, especially if you continue to fall back into the lateral shift after you're done correcting. Once you're able to achieve neutral alignment and you're feeling better, you're feeling like you're able to hold it longer, then decrease how often you do it throughout the day. You might need to do this at least once or twice a day for maintenance for a period of a couple of weeks in order to really set and hold that neutral alignment. Along with the correction technique, other things to keep in mind are your posture and your positioning during your daily activities. Whether you're working, driving, resting, whatever you might be doing, pay attention to the position and your posture while you're doing that. For example, if you notice you're shifted to the right and you spend a lot of time working on the computer with your arm over here, that is probably a contributing factor. So no matter how much you do the correction, if you keep working at your computer, leaning over to the right, you're going to keep shifting to the right. So see what you can do to correct any of those asymmetries that you have in your posture and positioning with your daily activities. That will help immensely.
Another component is what kind of thoughts and experiences in life you might be having that make you feel like you're being pushed to one side or, or make you feel like you're off kilter one way or the other. Try to work on addressing those things to restore a sense of balance and a sense of being centered and grounded. I hope that this correction for a lateral shift will help you restore neutral alignment and get back to doing the things that you love to do at the best of your ability. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.